Everyone says, well, you should be harmless, virtuous. You shouldn't do anyone any harm. You should sheath your competitive instinct. You shouldn't try to win. You know, you, you don't want to be too aggressive. You don't want to be too assertive. If you want to take a back seat and all of that, it's like, no, wrong. You should be a monster, an absolute monster. And then you should learn how to control it. It's impossible to respect yourself until you grow those mental teeth. And when you grow those teeth, you realize that you're dangerous. You begin to demand success for yourself. You're no longer wishing or hoping things work out. You're gonna make it happen no matter what. So you start carrying yourself with a different level of confidence and conviction that says to the world, I will not stop. I am going to assess the situation. I am going to come up with a plan and I am going to execute. I'm gonna go get it because I'm built for it. If you set out and you say you're gonna do something, do yourself a favor and don't lie to yourself. That is the worst thing that an individual can ever do. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the way you do it. But somehow they got to look at you and go, okay, I won't monkey with that one. I need you to put the type of effort forward that the world knows don't come for me. You have to develop a doggedness. You gotta have some toughness in you. And the only way to develop toughness is you gotta practice being tough. And you cannot practice being tough by quitting every time you get tired, by stopping every time you don't feel like it, by giving up every time it get challenged. That's what's wrong with people now. People don't make it because they always give up when they get hard. You know, it's so challenging now. You know, they was talking about me. I feel weak. I'm tired. Life don't give a damn about you being tight. You got to get about the business now. You want to be successful, you got to get at it. You got to stop all this soft shit and all that mess, man. You got to get at it. You got to tear their mouth off. When you go out there, I need you to have that dog. When you get out there, I need you to kill or be killed when you get out there. When you get out there, whatever you can get, go get it. Because they're going to get it before you get it. And they ain't going to give it to you. So you go out there and get what's yours. A true monster's mentality is when you're willing to forego rest, forego comfort, forego personal desires, forego whatever it takes to be better than you were yesterday. And every single time you feel like quitting, remember all those hours and days you sacrificed to get to where you are. It's gonna take you getting a hold of this thing and not letting go. You're gonna have to fight and fight and fight till you can't fight anymore. Whatever it takes, I will do whatever I have to do to get to the other side, to make it over, to press through this. Nothing will hold me back. Nothing will stop me. If there's something that you want and you're hungry for it, you've got to do whatever is necessary until. And when you give the best you can and that's not enough, you must do what is required. And don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. There will be things that will happen to you in life that will get you down. But you must always stand up inside yourself and know that you can handle this. You've got to stand up to it and say, I'm going to do this anyhow. And I'm not going to let you stop me. And you've got to be so relentless that you're always looking for a way to get over. Always looking for a way that you can break through. Always looking for a way that you can win. Always looking for a way that you can strike a telling blow. If you tell that thing, I'm here just like you here. And I promise you, I ain't leaving without the degree. I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave without that dream. I will not leave this university. I will not leave this job. I will not leave this client. I will not leave this opportunity until I'm successful. And you can't go back to that same old mindset. You gotta focus on this new day, this new mindset, these new goals. You can do it because that monster inside of you won't give up. That monster inside of you won't give in. That monster inside of you won't throw in the towel. 
failing doesn't mean you quit. It means you failed, but get back up and continue to push that bar higher and higher and higher. When you're constantly pushing and getting up earlier and getting up earlier and getting up earlier and fighting through pains and discomforts, you don't care about failure. You actually welcome it. That means you set the bar so high that it's like, oh, I failed. That's where I need to be. Now I got to figure it out. You have to be uncommon amongst uncommon in your world. It takes everything. And then when you think you've given everything, you've just begun. In order to craft a life that you love more than the life you have today, you have to start being a little irrational. George Bernard Shaw said, reasonable people adapt themselves to the world. Unreasonable people attempt to adapt the world to themselves. All progress, therefore, depends on unreasonable people. Most people are just sheep. They just follow what everyone else does. It happens everywhere in life. And my philosophy has always been this. You can follow the sheep, but it's always going to take you down the most crowded road in life. Instead, go the opposite direction. Your chances are always going to be better and quicker and more efficient than following what every other person is doing because they're only doing it because they see everyone else doing it in the first place. It's this weird psychotic loop that we all get into that drives me nuts. Making the right decisions is a one-on-one -on -one battle. Whatever the majority of the crowd is doing, find your way to the odds and see nine times out of ten how right you turn out to be. All great, productive people had this in common. They divorced themselves from society on a daily basis. And if you do these kinds of things, the world will call you eccentric. This is where you got to develop the interior core, where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. So you have two options right now. You can either be one of life's reasonable people, or you can be someone who's slightly unreasonable. Somebody who demands more from life. You can be world class, you can fit in with the world, you don't get to do both. This is where you got to develop the interior core where it doesn't matter if people call you crazy. One of the things limiting you from your income, your impact, a world class life. You care too much about what people think about you. It served us thousands of years ago. We wanted to fit into the crowd because if we left the crowd, we would die of starvation or we would be eaten by saber-toothed tigers. Now we're in the modern age and we are frightened. We are terrified if we leave the crowd. But you can be a titan or you can be average. You can't do both. And part of being at world class, you've got to really do the prayer, meditation, journaling, affirmation, declarations, and be around people who really don't care that much about what people think of them. One thing I've learned is everyone has an opinion. Why let the opinions of other people deny you from a life that will make history? Some of y'all, you lying to yourself. You say you want to be great. You say you want to get to the next level. You say you want to be dominant on that field. You say you want a promotion. You say you want to start your own business. But listen to me very closely. You talk too much. Shut up. Go to work and show me. Show me what you got. Show me. Wash the dishes and wash the dishes 100%. Mop the floor and mop it 100%. Go to work and do your work. Don't just go to work when you feel like it. Go to work even when you're down and out. Even when you're not feeling it, still do it every single day. Work on it every day. Is it that you're not where you're supposed to be because you don't have what it takes? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the ability? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the talent? Are you not where you're supposed to be because you don't have the opportunity? No, 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 no. What it boils down to is you're not where you're supposed to be because you average. Every single thing you do is average. And yet you want to be great and you want to be phenomenal. Forget about it. I'm suggesting to you that if you want to be great, that you're the first in the class and you're the last one to leave beast mode. I suggest that you study every single page. You take every single note. Beast mode. You go to the training and you're listening and you're writing and you beast mode. When you want to become a diamond, your whole attitude change, your whole mindset, your thinking, your relationship, the decisions that you make, your energy, all of it changes. See, this is something that you can't be in this business. This business has to be in you. Continue to work, continue that course, believing in the worldly cause, the end state of it all, knowing that the pressures and the problems coming are welcoming. Those are the situations that are going to formulate and mold you into the person you want to be. Accept this as the reality. Sacrifice this. Stay.
for the investment in the future of greatness. So I'm telling you in life, you start running from a class, you start running from a subject that you don't like, it will haunt you for the rest of your natural life. It ain't going nowhere. You gotta take that thing out, like, you gotta take the breath out. So some of y'all are afraid of math, go after it. Go get it. Don't run from it no more. Go get it. You go in there and go get that grade. You go in there and get that information so you can pass that class. You gotta go get it. I want you to go in confidence that you've never had before. And every giant in your life, slay him. You go back and slay him. Don't kill him, slay him. Life happens. The unexpected, the uncalled for, the unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally, damaged spiritually. You're going to lose loved ones. You're going to get fired. Your house going to get foreclosed on. Somebody going to give you a notice. The bank going to lose your money. Somebody going to steal something from you. Your car going to break down. All that's going to happen. If you saw it, you ain't going to win. I'm sorry. Because the devil is busy. The devil gonna throw hardship your way. He testing you too. This ain't finna be easy. Life is not getting ready to be easy for you. You can stop hoping for that. You gotta get doggedly tough, period. You know, they send you a notice from the weather storm when a hurricane coming, everybody gotta evacuate. In order to be successful, sometimes you can't evacuate. You gotta board up the windows, you gotta stay and protect what's yours. You can't quit now. I don't care if you don't have the money and you don't have the help and you don't have the family for it and you don't have the friends for it. You cannot quit. You might have to make adjustments. You might have to find another way. You might have to learn new things. You might not move as quick. You might not have as much, but you cannot quit. If I was gonna quit, I would have quit a long time ago. I've come too far for that now. I will not be defeated. And I've made up in my mind that I will get a reward for the pain that I go through, no matter the price. You can get through this, because you bigger than this. You better than this, you tougher than this. And when you get to the other side, you're gonna be better. You're gonna be bigger. You're gonna be bolder. A person's character is not judged when they ride the wave of success. When everyone chants their name and you want to be their friend, no. Your character is put to the test when your back is against the wall. Somebody told you it was over. Somebody sent you home. Somebody told you you'll never be a doctor. They sent you home, you fail. Never give up. You don't give up on me. You don't quit on me. You man up, you woman up, you get your life back. When you come up against that thing, I'll do that thing. And you can't do it when you get there. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to cancer. You gotta already make up your mind before you get to that exam and pass that exam. You gotta make up in your mind when you're talking to your husband, when you're talking to your wife, when you're talking to that sickness. You gotta look at it before you even get to it, so don't you ever give up. Failure has made me who I am today. Failure gives you two choices. You stay down or you get up. Well, I'm up and I am fired up because I have figured it out. And I can stay down or I can get my ass up and I'm in the getting up business. You're not gonna die in this trial. You're gonna make it. In fact, you're gonna be better. When life knocks your butt down, I need you to get back up and I need you to go heavy. When uncertainty creeps in, I need you to get up and get right back on the thing that knocked you off and I need you to go heavy on it. When something doesn't turn out the way you want it to turn out, I need you to attack the very thing that didn't turn out the way that you wanted it to turn out and I need you to go heavy on it. You don't judge a person by where they stand in times of comfort and convenience. You judge them by where they stand in times of challenge and controversy. When you work for something, it gives you a different type of attachment to it. The harder you work, the harder it is to surrender. That's why cats can give up so easy. They ain't got nothing invested. But when a cat work for something, like when a cat been sacrificed for something, well, you gonna have a cold day in hell before you take it from them. Because they value it different. When people die, when people get sick, when something happens in your life, if all you're doing it for is a car and a house, that can stop you. But if you're doing it for your mom, for your siblings, for your family, for your community, nothing can stop you. You cannot be broken. When you have an intrinsic goal, when you're doing it because you value it, when you're doing when you're doing it because you can, when you're doing it because it represents who you are, when it's internal, no mountain, no trial, no tribulation, nothing can stop you. And no matter what you walk through, no matter how broken your life is right now, no matter how many times you failed, there's a power within you that's stronger than whatever's going on around you. 
so I'm not retreating, I'm not running. I don't care what the odds are. I'll get it done or die trying. I worked too hard to get here in order to give up now. I put in too many hours, too much sweat, too much blood, too much tears. I worked my ass off to get here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna win. I got here, not because I'm the strongest, not because I'm the fastest, not because I'm the best, but I kept fighting and fighting and fighting, and I just made up in my mind, I'm gonna get through this. You are not gonna stop me. I got too far. I've come too far to give up now. Regardless of what happens to you in life, regardless of the adversity, regardless of the opposition, regardless of the trials and tribulations, nothing can stop you. The only thing that can stop you is you. You want affirmation? Look yourself in the mirror and say, I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. I know I can. Do whatever it takes. You your biggest driver. Life is pain. You know how many times I wanted to just give up? How many times I've thought about ending it? Life is hard. Easy. It's not an option. But it's worth fighting. It's worth believing. It's worth giving yourself a chance. It's worth mustering yourself up, standing up inside yourself. It's worth fighting relentlessly, never giving up. It's worth fighting a good fight. It's worth being around motivated, positive people. It's worth being up-tempo. It's easy to have faith and feel good when you're feeling good and you have no pain and your bills are paid and you got a clean bill of health from the doctor. It's easy to be motivated then. But when that's not the situation, it's hard. When you look in the mirror, you don't see the person that you once saw. It's hard, I know it's hard, but do it hard. It's necessary that you take charge that you begin to stand up inside of yourself, that you dry your tears and you're not given the luxury of feeling sorry for yourself, that you got to get in a fighting mode. You can't surrender. You can't be a chump. You got to fight back. You got to stand up and start. So wait a minute, what is it I need to do? You got to make yourself move even if it hurts. Many people have been written off and said, this one won't survive. And they did. It's possible. You've got to believe in your heart of hearts that it's possible that you can beat this. Your belief, your faith, your drive, your determination, your persistence, your perseverance, your spirit, greater is he that is in you than what's out here in this world. So you've got to decide, you've got to say, it's possible that I can beat this and it's necessary that I do this. In spite of the pain and the conditions, you've got to mobilize your mind and your spirit. There's nothing as powerful as a made-up mind. I'm not through yet. I've got to work. I have an assignment that's incomplete. I'm not through yet. I'm not going out like this. I'm going to fight. And when you do, when you give it the best that you can, when you keep on trying, you're seeking, you're asking, you're knocking, something happens. The universe opens up for you. There's certain things in your life that you cannot afford to quit on. I'm in Times Square right now. I look around, I see all these companies. And the first thought that comes to my mind is that they didn't quit. Because I know anything that's big once started off as small. I know they hit challenges, roadblocks, obstacles, rejection. People probably looked at them crazy but they didn't quit. In your life, when times get hard, when setbacks come, that should let you know that you're on the right track. The journey is about progression, not perfection, right? It's not gonna be perfect. If the peak is worth reaching, the climb is gonna be hard. I know, I know, I know you're ready to give up. I know, I feel you, you're ready to give in. You're like, I've never gone through this before. Or maybe you're at the darkest point of your life and you're ready to give up. You're at a point in your life where you feel like it's do or die. You're going through so much pain. You're going through so much agony. You're ready to give up. You're ready to quit. Listen to me very carefully. You are a warrior and it's time for you to fight. Look, that test might not go away. That pain might not go away. That fight might not go away. You are a warrior. It's time for you not to back up.
not to give up, not to give in. Stop letting stuff derail you. Stop getting stuck. Every time life don't go your way, stop getting stuck. Stop quitting. Stop giving up. Keep fighting in the midst of the struggle. Keep fighting. Keep thinking positive. Keep going. You only lose when you quit. Remember what makes you different from the weak. The difference between the weak and the strong is that when the strong have no more left, they fight, they fight, they fight. The weak, they quit, they give up, they give in, and there's nothing weak about you. So I need you to fight your way through it. I'm a fucking fight. When I'm laying in a hospital bed with tubes and needles sticking out my ass, will I continue to fight? Yes, when I'm laying dead on this motherfucking floor, will I continue to fight? Yes. Why do you do it? I can't help my fucking self. I'm a fighter. And that's what fighters do. I don't know what that dream is that you have. I don't care how far-fetched it might appear to be. I don't care how disappointing it might have been as you've been working toward that dream. But here's what I know, that that dream that you're holding in your mind, that it's possible. In the process of working on your dreams, you are going to incur a lot of disappointment, a lot of failure, a lot of pain, a lot of setbacks, a lot of defeats. But in the process of doing that, you will discover some things about yourself that you don't know right now. Most people think they're disqualified from becoming mega successful. They think their past disqualifies them. Their mistakes, their seven. You don't know, man, I've had a divorce. You don't know I failed in this other business. You don't know in the last down real estate market, I lost it all. You don't know what I'm addicted to. You don't know my mistakes. You don't know my weaknesses. You don't know what I'm not good at. You don't know, I've always been average and ordinary, I've always been invisible, and so that disqualifies me from being successful. So what you do regularly is you disqualify yourself. And what I'm saying to you, what if the truth was that your greatest mistakes are the very things that do qualify you? What if that's the case? What you will realize is that you have greatness within you. What you'll realize is that you're more powerful than you can ever begin to imagine. What you will realize is that you are greater than your circumstances, that you don't have to go through life being a victim. If you can survive temporary pain, on the other side of temporary pain, you will meet another version of you. Which, by the way, all pain is temporary. The only thing permanent is our soul. Even our bodies are temporary. So all pain, no matter what it is, it is temporary. And if you can survive it, on the other side of it, you will meet personality traits, emotions, thoughts, people, circumstances, versions of you that you didn't know existed before. If you want to make your dream become reality, the people that are running at their dreams know that it's possible that you can live your dream. That it's necessary, that you're relentless, that you have a plan of action, that you are creative. That know if it's going to happen, it's up to them. And they're resolving within themselves, it's not over until I win. The people that are running after their dream know they're going to have hard times. They keep on running because they're saying within themselves, no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. I'm up here not because I'm super impressive, because I'm not. Every time I wanted to quit this business, I didn't make a decision to not quit the rest of my life. I made a decision not to quit for one more day. One more day just don't quit. One more day hang on. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. You are one decision away from changing your life. Your one new meeting, one new relationship, one new contact, one new action, one new decision away from shifting your life from where it is right now to a totally different place. There's something you've been hesitating on. There's a contact you need to make. There's a job you need to quit. I don't know what it is, but I know there's a decision that you need to make to take you to the next level because decisions shape our destiny when they're backed up by some massive ass action. But you can't take the action if you don't decide. I made up in my mind. I will not go through this.
this pain and not get a reward for it. I will not quit. I will not surrender. I will outlast every trial and every tribulation that comes in my life. You meet a family that is wealthy. Somewhere back in their lineage generationally, they weren't. And then something happens. The one shows up. In every family, there's the one. And that one changes that family forever. In my family, I'm the one. We don't think like we used to think. I'm the one. I'm the one who made the calls late at night. I'm the one who drove hours and hours for people to say no. I'm the one who dealt with the heat. I'm the one who typed all the emails. I'm the one who returned all the messages. I'm the one that dealt with all the stress and the strife and the cancellations and the back talking and the people who didn't keep their word to me and the difficult times. I'm the one who lost sleep at night. I'm the one who got up early. I'm the one who carried the emotional burden of winning just like you are. You're the one. It's you, you've got to take personal responsibility. You've got to make it your personal business to make it happen. And you've got to resolve within yourself that I can do this. I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one to make this happen. I'm the one to become successful in this business.